black people. All right, we got a freezer. I want to show how to uh, set the defrost timer. The freezer cannot run 24-7 because the uh, core, the evaporator core will freeze up. So all you're going to do is go to, you see where it's blinking at 10 o'clock right now? Because it's 10.03. That is the current time. So I'm going to go to start and stop. Well, I want my uh, default time to start at noon. So I will go to noon and just press start. Just press it and go to about one o'clock and press it again. Stop, okay? It'll go in default at noon to one. I'm gonna do it again right here at about six. I'm just gonna press start. Go to seven and press stop. Okay, I'm gonna go to midnight, press start. I'm gonna go to one and press stop. Okay, I'm gonna go to six, press start, go to seven and press stop. Okay, we ready to go, got my defrost set. All right. And uh, setting the time is the same way. It's at 10 o'clock. I just go to my time and just press uh, set. And if I want to clear these, I do the same thing. I just go to the first one. Just go to the first blinking and just press clear. It's going to clear that whole that whole section. You do the same thing. Go to, to the first dot and press clear. It's going to clear that whole section. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go to start at 12. Go to 12, press start. Rotate my uh, dial to one and press the stop. Rotate my dial clockwise to six. I'm gonna press start. I'm gonna go to seven. And I'm gonna press stop. I'm set. Go back to the current time, 10 o'clock. Okay, if I wanna put this in manual defrost, it's a manual defrost button. It goes to defrost. The compressor's going to um, cylinder to pump down the compressor, and the compressor will go off on the low suction. Just the thermostat on the inside is negative three right now on the inside. Uh, we got two. Freezer that down. One over there, I gotta change compressor later on in the week. Cause it should be negative 10 on the inside. And when this compressor go off, in, uh, when it's in defrost mode, I'm out of trouble. I need to find out what, what all this is going to, but it's a uh, heater strips on the evaporator core. that'll fire up and I thought the uh, evaporator coil. Taking a while for the compressor to shut down. Might have to lick it all pressure with it. And all this is frosted up pretty good. I'm doing a PM that will kind of draw my attention to this unit. I wonder if, is it ever shutting down? Troubleshoot this unit. Oh, okay, there you go. It is shutting down. I'm about to say I'm gonna troubleshoot it. Hopefully, I can get some film of it. But it did shut off, so uh, I have to read the manual. I don't know how long the, uh, the manual defrost stays in defrost. Uh, maybe 10, 20 minutes. I don't know. But is it 
I, I manually put it in defrost, it's still 10 o'clock. It won't go into defrost until 12. So, uh, but I'm gonna try to unthaw this thing out so I can check my pressure. Cause this compressor is iced up pretty good. I don't know if you can see inside there. Everybody doing out there good, Ace Back People. Grind time, it's Wednesday. But I'm gonna cut this video because all I want to do is just show you how to work this defrost timer. This um, it's a model 9145. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment. I may make a video on how to uh, scroll through this Johnson Control also. Set point, set point is negative 12. It's negative three on the inside. So, Johnson Control. So what we got, different, uh, I think that's differential. So I had to get a refresher on this though. I see they coming with the called Q, Q link thing you can get the, the uh, manual on these <laughs> all right these back people y'all stay up though have a great uh, week and uh, grind hard learn as much as you can <laughs>